Hello again, everyone. I'm Martin Falls, and of course, it's Sunday. It's a whole new day, and we are going to continue to cover and track a very, very quacky and kooky storm called Lee. So it's, uh, you know, I've got Reggie Dupre that's going to be coming in uh, this morning. I'm sure the parish president, Michelle Claude, will be popping in. He does on a regular basis. I'm sure we'll have members of the HOMA police department, uh, sheriff's department. I'm sure the sheriff will be back in uh, today on Sunday. So a lot of you last night watched the LSU game, great game LSU won, went to bed thinking that when you woke up this morning, this thing was going to be moved up some. I, for one, was also one of those people. It was still moving about four miles per hour. But as Mother Nature and the good Lord would have it, this thing hasn't moved a whole lot too fast. Let's now go to our satellite loop if we can. There you can see the rain bands that are affecting us right here in the HTV viewing area. And as you can see, we'll just hold on this shot for a while and stay on it. As you can see when it advances that between Raceland and Homa, you're in between a big band, but Raceland and Lockport right now, a little east of it, getting a pretty good soaking. Berg, Montague, Chauvin, Leeville, Grand Isle, and maybe we could get you some shots of that Galliano and Grand Isle tower cam that we have because that's going to show that the weather is probably a little ominous looking. There it is, Grand Isle, I mean uh, Galliano. You can see the rain coming down and a little ominous situation out there as it looks. Yesterday we saw blue skies. Today we see the rain falling and you could you could just go to the bank with it. If the map is showing green blotches of yellow and we go to the cameras, you're going to see this. It's a nagging, steady little rain when these bands come in and then when they get out of here we just hope the pumps continue to, to come in. Let's go to Cocodry and Cocodry is right in one of those squall areas itself. Home is fixing to get it. Morgan City, Labadeville, Napoleonville are all in it right now and in a second we're going to show you Cocodry and see if the tides uh, have reversed themselves and there, there, you see that they had. Remember yesterday we showed you all that water was gone past the slip. From the yellow boom crane to the bottom of the screen is a slip. Where the boom stands or sits is shell parking lot. When that shell parking lot, you see some water coming in, encroaching from the Gulf and from, from all the wind, the southern winds. You can see all the marinas in the background with water underneath. Yesterday, all that was gone, but the tides are going to change. We're going to get another a barrage from that. We'll be okay on that, providing that the rainfall is not significant. And that's what we're going to keep an eye on on this Sunday is the rainfall or are the rainfall amounts. So that's what you see. We're going to get you a camera also set up uh, outside the HTV studios. You know, our vantage point, we've been showing you down St. Charles Street to better enable you to see from different vantage points of what we are going to see as these bands come through. If we could get a little broader satellite uh, picture, we're going to try to show you. Well, look at Grand Dow. There's a, we'll keep it on Grand Dow right now. You can see off the rooftop here, that's a pretty, pretty good squall going through Grand Dow right now on this Sunday morning. It's uh, it's popping pretty good, and that wind from this vantage point is definitely coming out of the west or southwest. But let's just hold that shot, Jay, because that's that's showing us what some of these squalls are going to look like all day long. I mean, it's going to be it, depending on this storm and how quick it moves. It's uh really not good 
So you just, uh, we've been through it before, a lot of times before, and it's just, it's merciless when they come in and keep pounding you. Grand Isle, I would say, out of the entire HTV viewing area, has, you know, with the proof from the tower cams, has been hit with these squalls a lot more than anyone else in the viewing area. Every time we go to this camera, it seems to me that there is definitely something going on. Look, look at the roof, how it just sort of fans across the roof. You could, you could see the, the waves of water as they band across. And this is a classic feeder band, folks, from Grand Isle. And I, we have Michelle Claudie from Terrebonne Parish will be here in a little bit, we've been informed. But let's just hold this and open up the phone lines too. 879-1231. And I could hear for the first time, the door in the back, the, the classic door in the back of HTV that bangs around in strong winds. Well, we have a squall over our station right now. I'm not sure if we have a camera set up yet this morning, but we have a pretty good squall coming, so we probably should get a, a camera up and running because it's, it's that band we saw coming towards Homer seems like it has a rod. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for uh, Jason to tell me if we do or not. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll try to get that up up as quickly as possible because it's uh, it certainly sounds like it's about to come down. So we're going to take a few phone calls at the same time. And also, we're going to try to get Sergeant Kyle Falk or uh, the chief tied to playing this on the set also to talk about some city activities that may be going on in Terrebonne Parish. We definitely want to hear from Charlotte Randolph in Lafouche because with the tide once again coming in, I'm sure Louisiana 1 is once again in trouble as far as water goes. Looks like the tide's moving in and this, this baby just sitting off the, uh, off the thing. Let me see if I can get Kyle Falk. Joining us now on the phone is Sergeant Kyle Falk from the Homer Police Department. Uh, how you doing this morning, Kyle? Oh, we seem to have lost lost Kyle. I'm not sure. Jason, maybe you could uh, try to get him back. Let me try lines five and six. HTV, welcome to the program this morning. Good, mo good morning. This is Pat Manger. How you doing, Pat? I'm fine. Uh... What city did the storm hit, the, the eye of it? They said it came on land. Where on land? Well, it's west of Terrebonne Parish. It's, uh, it's really just sort of sitting. We don't, and to be quite honest with you, Pat, I don't think anyone knows because it's, it's such a crazy storm. But if we could go just for a little bit, Jay, because it looks like that feeder man is pretty much past Grand Isle. Let's show Pat on the phone a satellite imagery to sort of show that it's a little bit west of Terrebonne Parish, but really it's just one big organized mess. You see right there, there's a little clearing to the west of Morgan City. That seems to be the circulation, the center of circulation. Okay, are we supposed to stay home? Yes. Okay. You're gonna get a lot of rain. Where are you located, Pat? We're do large on Tina Street. We're wondering if we should go to church or if we should stay home. Well, and, and here's the thing. I never want to get in between you and the good Lord, but if there's a later mass or service that you can go to, you might want to hold off just a little bit because you have a big feeder band that's probably right over you right now. Now, what time service? 1130. All right, now, here's the thing. It may be clear for that time. So just stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you updates all the way through. And I do not want to tell anybody not to go to service or not to go to mass. But when you come out of that service, don't be surprised if there's a big rainfall going on. Or you may walk out and say, there's nothing going on. You may be in between a feeder band. 
but I would I would think that as this thing tightens up and closer to the circulation there's going to be some tighter rain bands coming in that either during the service going in or coming out you're going to experience one of the feeder bands okay thank you very much you're welcome bye bye HTV welcome to the program go ahead please hi Martin it's Ola hey Ola I'm calling about my daughter she lives on uh, Lake Long Drive in Bayou Blue right and they're surrounded by water okay uh, Dulac doesn't have anything from what I understand one of her good friends they have no water in the yard where they used to have water all the time. Well, no, Dulac does now. Yeah. yeah Shrimpers Row and all those areas. But yeah, well. Uh, now, she's on uh, LaFouche side? Yeah, she's on the LaFouche side, unfortunately, on Lake Long Drive. Okay. And it's surrounded by water. They got at least uh, a foot of water in the yard, maybe more. The street is covered now. So if y'all can maybe get somebody out there to go look at it, get some, some, something done out there, because every, every storm, they flood. Well, I'm going to get, uh, done out there. I'm gonna get Jason. Jason, do we have our total arsenal here, or did we dispatch already? All right, uh, get somebody to uh, Lake Long, please, for me. All righty, good. Thank you, I appreciate you, that, Martin. You have a good day, baby. You too. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, let's look at this picture, too, before I go back to the lines. You, you can see, and let me, <clears throat> let me go. I'm going to use a stick as a pointer this time, not, not to show you where the eye is going through. And yeah, let me locate it for you. There it is, right there. Okay, around, I guess that would be Marsh Island or such. Can't re so we're looking at Marsh Island area is where the center of circulation is. I would say half over water, half over land but of course what we need this thing to do is just get on land I mean it's it's you see how if, if you remember when I said yesterday the thing I didn't want the most and I think everybody doesn't want the most is for it to back up here and then it starts getting conditions that are conducive to wrapping around well it is wrapping around but the problem is for it not for us is that it's not getting enough warm water to really strengthen and get a whole bunch you know more intense the problem for us is still going to pump rain bands around and around until this thing just moves out of here so center of circulation definitely to the west of Terrebonne Parish and Lafouche and St. Mary proper so look at the feet of bands coming through all around our area and we, we are hearing one over the roof at HTV. We just showed you a big one on Grand Isle. And there you can see HTV Studios right now. And it's a, it's a haze out there. There's just a lot of water. And then in a few minutes, we're going to show you uh, shots. And then uh, it's going to be clear. Joining me now is the parish president, Terrebonne Parish, Michelle Claude. And uh, here we go again, another day. Huh? Good morning. Another day. When is this uh, storm going to leave us is what I want to know. I hope that stick can tell me that because I'll be a much happier man if I know. <laughs> if that stick could tell us that, we'd be selling them by the thousands. But, uh, I mean, uh, it's pretty much stalled. I mean, it's, it's stalled, but it's, we just hope it creeps a little bit. But you've been around. What's the conditions in Terrebonne? What are you Actually, what are you all streets are passable at this point in time. We still have some water in... Uh, particularly in a building on the bottom part of the Dulac area, and they have some still a lot of water in yards, uh, maybe a few commercial establishments on the sides, but as far as our roads, they're passable. We have not had, Martin, one report, not one right. report of a house actually flooding, and we're so pleased about that. The reports I had for the water, at least according to the New Orleans media, was uh, about five inches of rain on uh, Friday and we had one New Orleans station showed 10 inches of rain in Terrebonne yesterday down here and uh, Paul Yakuspak who's at our OEP office periodically his rain gauge showed 10 inches of rain where he was right. now, we had another one that showed five something and right. so I'm not sure what it is because it depends on where you're at yeah I mean you could be uh, 
You could be in Mulberry and somebody else could be in Broadmoor and they got a difference of five inches of rain. It depends right. on the feeder bands. And Martin, I'll tell you, we have had people out uh, throughout the night, throughout uh, all during the day to day. They're all over the parish. And even the places that generally flood all the time, like Tunnel and Leveron and all the really low places are at this time passable. Now, of course, if we get uh, three or four inches of rain in a very short period of time, right. All bets are off. And I got to tell you, I, how many of these things have we covered? Those areas are always underwater. I rode this morning, just riding, looking to see where the water is. But it's not there. Now, it may be in, in some other, like Lower Dulac or uh, Lafouche side or whatever, but I'm not seeing it. So the pumps are keeping up. Right now they are, and Martin, just understand, something can break, something can happen, right. and we never can uh, stop <clears throat> that. Just recently, one of the things that we almost had water in the houses, and that's where I was just a little while ago, was on Bel Air Drive. There's a, a private retention water area next to it that the discharge portion had not, uh, you know, had something blocking it. And because of that, uh, water was retaining and it was continuing to... Uh, come almost into the houses and they brought machinery there and we've just gotten it unstopped and we also have a pump there which is going to try to help assist in pumping that down you know we don't want any uh, person's home to flood obviously and you know not only are we working with the water people but we have sewage things right. all over we've had sewer pump stations that have gone underwater that yeah. we've had to put backups around there and you know Martin I will say this, the people in our OEP department, my public works department, my emergency responders, all the people in the parish government, all the way from the finance, the transit, the, the sheltering people. By the way, we have still have 13 people in the shelter right now. Okay. And I'm not sure where, where you know, exactly where they uh, locate part of the parish they're from, but yeah. you know, we're going to be there until this event is over. And the water affects everybody as you came through the studio this morning. You smell the wet carpet, so everybody saw that wet carpet. But uh, let's go to the satellite, Jay, if we can, to the radar. As we have the... Okay, so he's refreshing it, but we are, we're in a rain fade mode right now because a lot of rain. Let's take a couple of phone calls, and we'll see what's going on out there in the community. Welcome aboard this morning. Uh, what's your thoughts or what's your comment, please? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. I tried to get through, but I couldn't. I was wondering, do you have any news on whether or not the Southland Mall is going to be open today? Uh, any news on that? Yeah, I would think that they are going to be open. We've not had any curfews. Uh, businesses are open unless they have some specific reason uh, not to be open. But most employees, I mean, all the streets are passable. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of rain, but this is South Louisiana. That happens all the time. Yeah. All right, so you heard it uh, straight from the parish president. He would assume that they are open today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. HTV, welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Hello. HTV, welcome to the program. Go ahead. Hey, Martin. How you doing? This is James. Hey, James. Uh, look, uh, I need to get somebody. Uh, my daughter lives on Acorn Street. And she's got about another foot, uh, and it's going. But the water's going to be in her trailer. Yeah. They dug. They dug a ditch in the back of their trailer, and uh, this the parish did. And it's been. I mean, we. Can, she's fixing to have water in her trailer. If yeah. I can get somebody, I tried to call drainage. They said they can't do nothing about it. Let me ask you this, James. Just looking at it with a common sense approach, mm -hmm. on a on a heavy rain before, how high did the water come up? Uh, about what it is right now. A yeah. storm, she usually gets it in the trailer. Okay. But you still have a foot to go. A foot is a long way if everything is working and the pumps are working and the drainage is working. But keep in mind, we've got a lot of rain that has fallen thus far. Mm -hmm. So the ground is saturated. But if she still has a foot to go, as long as people don't pass by and make a wake and right. knock the water in a trailer, you know, we just got to get out of these feeder bands, and then she should be okay. Yeah. But, but uh, like I say, you know, they, they just uh, never done anything. Well, know, let, let me ask the parish president. He's probably familiar with uh, 
Acorn Street or whatever. He's here right now. I, Let me just ask him. I'd okay. like to know where are you on Acorn Street that we're talking about? Where on Acorn, James? 240. They only got uh, one, two, three, four houses on the right side, and they got uh, one, two, three, four on the left side. It's all the way to the back. It's a dead end. And who dug the ditch? It's the parish that, did, that dug the ditch about uh, a couple of years ago. But when they dug it, they put all the dirt on the left, on the right-hand side, in other words, protecting the other guy's property. That, that ditch goes all the way to the intercoastal. And when it backs up everywhere else from the shipyard, it comes in there and then drowns everybody else out. And uh, is the height of the water solely dependent upon the height in the intracoastal? Is the what now? Is the height of the water that you're talking about solely dependent upon the height of yeah. the water in intracoastal? Right. right. Okay, because uh, right now we have water levels dropping throughout the area. And uh, I don't foresee a whole lot of additional water coming in in that area right now based upon the weather reports. Now, you have to realize uh, we're going into the low tide cycle now. Right. And so it should start dropping very briefly. But okay. we can't adjust the, uh, the levels for the intracoastal. I'm, you know, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I can, I can talk to somebody about it, but if it's all dependent upon the intracoastal, I, I don't believe there's much we could do. Yeah. James, let me just give you an example. When I got up early and went look out the back of my house, which is intracoastal, it's fairly high, but I'm used to it being fairly high in a storm event. So, I mean, it's probably, you know, a foot and a half from coming over the back bulkhead, but I've seen it where it's two inches. So I'm saying a foot where you are is a long way to go before it gets there. I'm not saying it'll never get there, but a foot is a long way to go. So when it gets to be an inch, or two inches or something of that nature, then then you need to be a little more concerned, but let's just keep an eye on it right now. Yeah, I just wanted to let them know because, I mean, nobody's ever came out there and looked at it, but uh, this happens on a, on a good, hard, regular rain without a storm, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want somebody to know something about it because we can't, I couldn't get, uh, couldn't get nobody to even check it out. Well, so I call drainage because they have a drainage right in the front of a trailer. But they came out and said there was nothing they could, you know, it's, and I can understand that. Well, look at Grand Isle, and I hate to cut you off, James, look at Grand Isle as yeah, we speak. Right. That's the conditions we have right now. So right, right, it's, right. Uh, this, this tropical storm is, is knocking a little harder today than it was yesterday. But maybe if they would have put some dirt on both sides of that ditch, they could have probably, uh, we could have probably uh, solved some of that problem that we have with the water coming in. James, so they, I, they, so. James, excuse me, but if in fact there's a chance, you know, I will go there personally today and try to look at it. And but right now, all my public works crews are are on pump stations. They're cleaning drains. They're trying to do a lot of things, and this is one that I believe is almost solely dependent upon the height of the intracoastal. Right. And I'll try to stop there today, tomorrow, uh, as soon as I can, and take a look at it myself. Thank you. That would you. be perfect, as long as I could get somebody out there to look at it and see what's happening. Right. Now, understand I'm not an expert, but I, right. uh, I can see water if it's there. But well, James, thank you. Appreciate the call. All right, man. Later. Michelle, before I take some more calls, what about, Jay, just keep it on that you might want to keep it on those shots, work those cameras, because it looks like those squalls have picked up to give people some vigils. What about evacuating? We're getting some calls in the control room, we evacuation. St we still have a voluntary evacuation on the lower parts of the parish. If you feel you're in jeopardy, and people <laughs> know their surroundings, they know their neighborhoods, they know the conditions, this is not our first rodeo. If they feel that they're in jeopardy, take whatever precautions and evacuate, move your car, uh, move your person. We have a place on Boundary Road. If you have relatives you can go with, that's fine. Make certain that whatever items you have in your yard is tied down, particularly if it can affect any type of drainage in your area. Uh, just be vigilant. We know what we need to do. We just have to do it. Absolutely. All right. And what we'll do, 
Uh, what, what's your plan? Y'all have meetings this yeah, morning? Yeah, I'm going to need to leave. Okay, I'll, but I appreciate look, I'll you come coming. back later. We have a 1030 meeting, if you okay. like, where we're going to get a, a further briefing, right. and I'll go through the entire parish. If Are you going to be on until I'll, I'll be on until we get out of this mess. I'll come on after the 1030 meeting, and All I'll right. answer whatever calls, because that would you, be Michelle. a better time for me. Appreciate it. Once Love again, it. Michelle Claude, the parish president. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate it, Martin. Okay. Thank you. And we'll what we'll do now, take a break. We're going to come back and bring you around the horn again. I think we're going to have some reports from Reggie Dupre on water levels coming in from the levee district. So we'll take a break. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you, Michelle.